to Get Me a Library. Today I'm doing a book review. Now the book that I am reviewing is The Book Jumper. I have just finished this book and my god did I want to cry at the end. I was so sad because I was not expecting in a million years the ending. I can't remember where I saw this book. I think it was on a recommended on Kindle or something. I'm not sure. I didn't actually see it posted anywhere on Instagram. I haven't seen anyone read this book at all. So it's literally a brand new book, a brand new author. Um, I downloaded it because it sounded really cool. And here we are. I literally had it for about two weeks now, I think, this book. Um, but I was reading another book and so on and so on. So now I got a chance to read it. And it took me a little bit longer because of work and things like that. But once I started and I got to a page which was yesterday, I literally couldn't put it down. Okay, so the book jumper. Amy Lennox doesn't know quite what to expect when she and her mother pick up and leave Germany for Scotland, heading to her mother's childhood home of Lennox House on the island of Stormsay. Amy's grandmother, Lady Mulred, insists that Amy was read while she resides at Lennox House, but not in the usual way. It turns out Amy's a book jumper able to leap into stories and interact with the world inside. As thrilling as Amy's new power is, it also brings danger. Someone is stealing from the book she visits, and that person may be after her life. Teaming up with fellow book jumper Will, Amy vows to get to the bottom of the thefts at whatever cost. So already that book absolutely sounds amazing. The fact that she can actually jump into other books and literally see things is absolutely wonderful. So it starts off with Amy and her mum living in Germany. Something's happened which is making them leave. Now they only go in whilst it's the holidays. So Amy's mum basically is heartbroken. Amy basically doesn't like school and is basically getting bullied and it's not good. So she's basically said to her mum, look, we need to go away, let's go. So they basically go to Scotland. I keep saying basically. So basically they go to Scotland and she meets her grandmother for the first time. So her mum Alexis has not told her anything about her mum and about Stormsay, about her world and life before she had Amy and moved to Germany. It's not clear if they've been to Germany for such a long time and they've always lived in Germany, but that's basically, basically, that's all Amy knows. I'm trying really hard to think of other words than basically. So that's all she knows about her life is Germany and school, etc. Now she's a big bookworm anyway, she likes to read. Um, so when she goes to Scotland and meets her grandmother for the first time and she says she has to read, she's like, okay, that's fine, I do that anyway. So a book jumper. Amy's a book jumper, Alexis is a book jumper and her grandmother is a book jumper. However, you are only allowed to book jump, I think from the age of five until you get to in your 20s, I think it said. So you are supposed to protect the book world. So imagine this place called Stormsay and having two clans. It goes back, dated all the way back to whenever they started their clans in Scotland. So there's the family, the Lennox family, and I've forgotten the other name of this other family. And throughout the generations, they would protect the book worlds, but they were always like competitors. They always hated each other. They always believed that the Lennoxes shouldn't have been book jumpers and the Lennoxes believed they shouldn't have been book jumpers and, and so on. Then one day, tragically, I think it's about 200 years ago or so, there was a book, a manuscript, and something had happened to it, and it caused a light, and there was a fire, and the book was only allowed to save, like, they were only able to save, like, a few pages of this book, along with some book characters. Um, and when that happened, they created a truce. They said, look, this can't happen anymore. Whatever we think about each other, our job is to save the book world and to keep things okay, and make sure that everything is at bay. But what happens is, because we've now argued, we've caused this fire, we've caused this manuscript to burn, so now we've lost a book. And when you lose a book, every book all over the world of that book will be destroyed, like things won't make sense. So for example, if I was walking one day, you know, in a book called, I don't know, I'm just trying to think of a book now, Batman Nightwalker, because it's looking at me. If I went into that book and I stopped Bruce Wayne from doing something, and he didn't become Batman, I would have literally changed the whole of that book. So everything up until that point would be destroyed and things would change, like going back into the past. So they need to make sure that they don't do that. So they've created this truce. So when Amy goes there, she has no idea whatsoever um, about that they're book jumpers. 
then when her grandmother reveals it to her, she's like, what? I don't understand. So she starts to learn how to become a book jumper. And as the clans have like gone on, there is less and less and less of them. I don't know why, it's not really made clear, but I'm assuming that people just like stopped having children or whatsoever, because like I said, you can only be a book jumper from aged five to about 20. So obviously like the children just haven't been book jumping or, or whatever. And there are a lot of book jumpers like Amy's mum that doesn't want anything to do with it. So if you imagine that she was like 17 when she had her, from the age of 17 until like 17 years later, like who has been book jumping there? Like there's not a lot of people to be book jumping. So Amy starts to learn how to do it along with two other people who are from the other clan's household. So there's um, the girl and a boy called Will. Now Will is the nephew of this clan um, leader. So they get together and all three of them can jump into the books and learn how to do that. Amy's first book is The Jungle Book. And while she's there, she meets Shere Khan, who happens to be a friend. She then meets other characters throughout the book and she goes on to an adventure and she travels and she sees all these different books. She goes to Pride and Prejudice, she goes to The Jungle Book, like I said, she goes to Peter Pan, she goes to Odyssey, she goes to Miss Summer's Night Dream. She goes to all these different places and all these different worlds and sees all these different things. However, while she's traveling, they get wind of a thief. Someone says that the thief has taken something from these worlds. But they're not just taking anything, they're taking big things, things that cause the story. So this is a spoiler, this is the only spoiler I'm going to give you for this whole book. And all I'm going to do is tell you a story that they go into and what the thief takes. And obviously why it implement, implements, implement, whatever, the story. So the first book that there's a thief in is Alice in Wonderland. Now. When you think of Alice in Wonderland, you think of all these different characters and you think of all these different stories. You think of the Queen of Hearts, you think of Mad Hatter, you think of all these different things, Treasure Cat, Alice. However, what do you think is the main point of that story? What is the main thing in that story that without it would stop the story altogether? Well, obviously there's things like Alice and obviously there's things like Wonderland. If Wonderland never existed, Alice wouldn't go there. If Alice never existed, who would go to Wonderland? But then it could be the adventures of Christina in Wonderland. The point is that these little things are important, but it's not the thing that actually makes the story. So the idea of that story, the thing that makes it, is the white rabbit. If the white rabbit doesn't come bouncing along and Alice doesn't see the white rabbit, she's not going to follow him. She's not going to fall down the rabbit hole and end up in Wonderland. If no rabbit goes by, she's stuck there reading her book with her sister. So that is the thing that the thief takes. So now think about some books that you love. Think about the thing that is the main thing of that story, what that story is based on, what starts that story. And without that, what story do you have? You don't. So that is what happens. The thief goes along to all these stories and takes the main thing of that story. It takes the thing the story is based on, the main topic, the main subject, the main character, whatever, it takes it. So they get wind of this thief, they go to Wonderland, they realise what was taken, they kind of think I don't understand, because obviously you don't understand what's going on, but they still take it. So they then spend the majority of the book trying to find out who the thief is, what the thief is taking next, who the thief could possibly be in the sense of is he a book character, or is he someone on Storm say, and also the fact that Will doesn't want to book jump anymore because he's got, well, he's he's lost something about him that makes him want to book jump even more. So that is basically the summary of the story. I know I gave you one spoiler, but I don't think I gave you too much. I hope I didn't anyway. So the main characters in the story is obviously Amy. We have her mum, we have Will. We have the book characters that she meets. I'm not gonna tell you them because I don't wanna spoil things. I know I've told you about Shere Khan, but he's just one thing. Oh, it is a spoiler. I have told you a spoiler, but I just wanted to give you something to make you excited. Um, and I know I told you a few other little books. I have given you some spoilers, but yeah, I haven't given you the big ones. I haven't told you the ending, which makes me sad. 
So they're the main kind of characters. Um, there isn't a lot of characters in the book. I mean, they know there's loads of stories and she meets loads of different characters, but there isn't a lot of characters on the Stormsea Island. I mean, there's probably about six, seven people that are sort of like on the island that are not book characters. And then obviously you've got the books and you've got the characters in them. And what I liked about this book is it had a good story, it had good characters. It had a lot of like adventures within the book. It didn't need too much background information. It gave you enough. You were Amy. So what she didn't know, you didn't know. What she found out, you found out. I mean, I know there's a lot of like answers that I would like to have in the book, like the ending, but you don't actually need those answers to enjoy the book. Um, I know that a lot of books, you need a lot of background information. You need a lot of past and you need a lot of stories and writing to understand things and to know more. But with this book, you really didn't. It was so well written. Um, I don't know what my favourite part of it was. I did like going to Wonderland because everyone that knows me loves knows I love Wonderland. Um, but I don't know what my favourite part of the story was. Now the ending, without spoiling it for you, I just didn't expect the ending to be as sad as it was. Now that doesn't mean that it was a bad ending, that doesn't mean that it was a happy ending, it just means that it was a sad ending to me. I don't know whether it's because I wanted more, not because I needed to be more, I just enjoyed this book so much that I wanted there to be more, because there's so many more books out there that she could go back to, but it had to end the way it did and it had to end when it did. So that is basically my story, that is that is basically my review on the story. I 100% give it a thumbs up. I have to, I, it's, it's hard with reviews because I've started to learn now that five star reviews are very, very high and I can't keep giving books five star reviews. But then I feel that this book is not really a four, it's, it's in the middle. Oh, I'm gonna give it four and a half cups of tea, but that doesn't mean it's not a five cup of tea. I think I want to give it a five cup of tea. Oh, it's difficult. Okay, I'm giving it five cups of tea. And the reason I'm giving it five cups of tea is because as soon as I got to a point in the book where I couldn't put it down, I didn't put it down and I enjoyed it so much that I wanted more. So the reason it took me a little bit longer to read, which is why I was gonna give it a four and a half, is because it's my personal me. I couldn't read it as quick as I wanted to because I had work and things like that. But when it got to a point where I couldn't stop, I enjoyed it so much. It didn't have a slow start. It didn't beat around the bush that she was a book jumper. I can't remember how many chapters it was. I think it was the second chapter. But basically, as soon as she got to Stormsay, within the first night or second night, she knew she was a book jumper. There was no like delayed story. Oh, what are those people doing? Oh, they're jumping into books. What? You can't do that though. Oh, can I? And then she turns out she can. It wasn't no like delayed story. It got straight to the story. It got straight to the main point without being too quick. Anyway. This is a really good book, I recommend it definitely. If you love books and wish that you could be in books, read this book. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon and I hope you enjoyed my review. Bye.